Welcome to App Design Tips. This video is part of a free complete icon design tutorial. If you want to follow along, you can download the exercise files using the link in the description below. Now, up until now, you may have noticed that this icon looks really flat. We don't see the folds in this map. We don't see any depth. And that's where transparency is going to come into play. So we're going to add some shadows to this map and really give it some life. So first thing we can do, we have this outside shape here. It's just one shape, but again, if we double click, we can access these shapes that are making up that one combined shape. And this is actually going to come in handy here for the shadows. So I want to just select this one shape here in the layers panel and just using the copy and paste keyboard shortcut, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to select outside of that shape and paste. And now if I go into my fill color, I turn this black and I turn the opacity all the way up. You can see I borrowed that shape from this combined shape so that we can use this for our shadow. And if I hold down option or alt on the windows, I can drag this over here to the right and now I have a shadow on both sides. Now this shadow is kind of dark, so let's hold down shift and select both of these. And then we can turn this transparency down to let's say 15%. And all of a sudden we can start to see some creases in our map and it's starting to look a little bit more lifelike. Now I actually want a deeper shadow just on this right half to harmonize with the rest of my icons. So to do that, I can double click here and I'm going to select path two, hold down shift and select path three. And I'm going to copy these, click outside so that I can unselect that and then paste. And I'm going to make these black and let's give it a 15% here. And now this side is a little bit darker than this side. Now to finish off this icon, let's create a circle background and let's create this the entire width and height of this artboard. So 128 pixels by 128 pixels. We'll remove the border and let's add this orange color to this circle. And we can drag this down in the stacking order. And I notice that there's something that looks weird here with this shape. So let's go in here and turn this fill all the way up. We want this to actually be just a light gray, something like this. We don't want it to be transparent. So now that looks really good. Last thing we can do is select this icon here and unselect the circle. So now we just have this shape selected and we want to balance that with the size of the circle. So let's zoom out a little bit. And if I click on this anchor point and I start dragging, you can see things start to look kind of broken and doesn't look very good here. So all I have to do is hold down shift and I can also hold down option to constrain things to grow from the center. And I think I like something like that looks a little bit better. And then I can use command G or control G to group this icon. I can just call this a map and we can always double click to expand and get to these other layers. But I just want this one shape so that I can center this with the circle. Now if we zoom out, we can see that that has proper balance with the rest of these as we start to design the rest of these. And the last thing I actually want to do is create another transparent object just casting a shadow over here. So I can do that using the pen tool here. I'm just going to select this corner here and also this corner. And then I'm going to create a shadow. Again, I'm going to go outside of these bounds here and I can move this and change it however I want. And that's a nice shape. I'm going to give it a fill. Let's make this black and let's make this 20% uh, opacity. And that looks really good. But again, we have to move this down in our layers. And then I want to copy this circle and paste it. So now we have two circles and I'm going to select this shape again. And we're going to only choose the intersecting paths. And now we have a nice casting shadow on our maps. And that's your first icon. I know it's complex, but we went over the pen tool, how to merge some simple shapes to create complex shapes, transparency. We've got it all in this icon to give you a nice practice to move forward. If you're enjoying this free icon design tutorial, I have a complete course on learning Adobe XD for UI UX design. 
You can find a link in the description below with a steep discount included for my YouTube fans. This course will cover everything from learning the Adobe XD interface to designing and prototyping an entire app from start to finish.